Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the code process problem A that is like so monocorp monocorp organize the weightlifting competition. There are n athletes participating in this competition. I the athlete has strength as I and endurance E I. And the first athlete is monocorp friend polycorp. Okay, monocorp really wants to polycorp to win. That is all like. Like every friend, we want to win. <laughs> that is a similar case. So competition has other rules. The jury will choose a positive integer W, which note the weight of the barbell that will be used in the competition. The goal for each athlete is to lift the barbell as many times as possible. The athlete who lifts the ball the most number of times will be declared winner. If there are multiple such athletes, there is no winner. Okay. So let's suppose if the barbell has W that is strictly greater than the strength of I the athlete, then I the athlete will be unable to lift the ball barbell even one single time. Otherwise, I the athlete will be able to lift the ball and the number of times he does it will be equal to his endurance EI. So let's see some examples. So in the in this case, there are four athletes. So first one has seven and endurance is four. And then we have second athlete nine and three, four, six, and two and two. Okay. So first, this athlete is our target of athlete. It is polygraph, and we wants to win this competition. So let's suppose if the key uh, four kg, let it be. Okay. Barbell is of four kg. So how many times this first athlete can Lift this four times. Okay. How many times this athlete? Three times. How many times this athlete? Six and two. So it can athlete two times. And this it will be zero. Okay. So who will athlete? Uh, which athlete lift the maximum number of times? The first one. So that will be the winner. Like if you can choose weight four, then the first athlete will be winner. So like if you choose five, six, seven, any weight, not greater than seven because it's the maximum strength possible for lifting for the first athlete. So you can choose the weights so that first athlete will win in this scenario. Okay. Or uh, let's suppose if we keep three. Okay, or we can say two. Then, uh, no, not. Uh, that is okay. Okay, my mistake. So E three in this case, like if we choose four, then this athlete will six times. Okay, so basically, at four it will lose. So we need to consider greater than four. So for greater than four, we consider five. So in five, first athlete four times, second athlete three times, third athlete is not able to lift because this is four. So that will be zero, and as four is also not able to lift, so zero. Now the first one can win, not with four. Four is not possible. And if you can choose six, then it's the same case. Four and second one strength is nine, so it can also lift three. And third one unable to lift, fourth one unable to lift. So in six also it can win, and at seven the same scenario. Four, three, zero, zero. So these are the three ways: five, five, six, and seven. In those ways, it can win. So let's see some example where first person can't win. So in this scenario, we have four, six, and then hundred, hundred. Okay. So in this case, like. We want this person to win. 
but its maximum strength is 4 and another pen another one has strength 100 so definitely it can't win like if we put 5 weight as 5 it will lift 0 times but this will lift 100 times so definitely second person will win it's impossible to win the first person so answer is minus 1 here in the third case both are same strength and endurance so like both can win so if both can win our answer will be minus 1 because the strictly wants to win first person that is the case so how can you solve this problem so this problem is a very simple solution you just need to consider strength of first person like polycock strength as the strength of first that is b of i of zero okay and then we have t of d of i of 1 okay and our answer will be initially this ts that is the strength it's possible for first person to lift then we will make a loop from i equal to 1 to i less than n and just need to compare this value d of i of 0 and d of i of 1 both this value v of i of 0 should be greater than or equal to uh, this ts and another condition will be d of i of 1 that should be greater than or equal to TE. First person's endurance and first person's strength. If that is the case, then our answer will be minus 1. And you can break loop at this point because if there is one person that means first person can't win. So you can terminate loop here. Hope you understand the solution. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you and keep coding.